How to become a millionaire. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Antoinette and this time around I'm going to be giving you tips and rules to become a millionaire. Being productive is a dream everyone wants to achieve. Who doesn't want to enjoy buying a nice house without mortgage bills, getting a luxury car, traveling to the most luxurious locations? Who wouldn't want to buy only designer brands and have to have no money worries? Millionaire rules. Millionaires around the world have followed these rules to help them become rich. And you too can follow it to become rich and financially stable or to be able to control your money and not to have money control your lifestyle. Follow me as I give you the right rules to join the millionaire team. Live within your means. Mark Cuban always say never live beyond your income. And this time I say the same thing to you. If you earn $2,000 a month and your monthly expense is $2,500, then each month you are spending an extra $500, which is most likely credit cards from your bank. This can be euros, dollars, anything, pounds. This means that you are in debt by $6,000 to your bank in a year, and in 10 years you owe $60,000. To become rich, you need to dial it down and what you spend each year and never go beyond what you earn, even it means to save not a lot of luxuries. The result of this is, if you save those excesses, funds from your monthly income, you can end up with enough money to invest, which will, in turn, bring you more money. Save. Saving is the first step to avoid being in debt. Bethany Frankel is a woman who has been in debt and gives her advice from experience. One thing she said is never buy anything with your credit card if you do not have the same amount equally saved or invested. In my previous post, What to do when you are broke in 2020, I spoke of the need for you to save up and an emergency fund, which would cover your bills for a while if things are wrong. And this is a point I'm saying here again. Buy what you need. Sarah Michelle Jello, a millionaire, says she never rushes to buy anything. And I think you need to follow that same advice. Because you like it doesn't mean that you should get it. Most times you buy things on impulse and end up never using it. Buying only what you need will also cut down a lot of expenses. Know what you are investing in. Ashton Kutcher says never invest in what you don't know. This point is key when you are starting a business or investing because someone else has profited from that line doesn't guarantee that you will too. It is best to go for what you have passion and knowledge of. This will mean that you understand how the market works and know what to do and when to do it. Use public transport. Kevin O'Leary, a millionaire, encourages and uses public transport. The cost and expense of maintenance and owing a car is a lot, and you don't earn from the car. It just consumes more by the month. As long as it is not a business car, consider dropping the need for a car until you're financially stable. Wise investment. Tony Robbins says investing is great, but investing wisely is greater. He and I encourage compound interest investment. This means investing in a high yielding profit and reinvesting the capital and profit in the same line. I encourage stocks, index funds, and even properties, but I mostly encourage doing your due diligence by investing and learning more. Job. Getting a job is one thing. Getting a job you love is another thing. Oprah always say to get a job you love. She, she gives her story of only earning $100 weekly on her radio job, but she loved it. Although she earned better, as a babysitter and a salesperson, she was comfortable working as a radio personnel. 
The result of loving your job will mean that you commit to it and strive to be the best. Being the best will get you recognized and in turn make you known name in your field with lots of opportunities to do what you love to do. Never spend it all. Susie Oman always says to learn and enjoy saving. We find it hard to save because we want to spend it on something we love. But if you see saving as something you love to do, you will end up working towards it. Seek help. Spike Lee says, never be afraid to ask for help to finance your project or business. He says, asking for financial help should never be a shameful thing. If you need to finance a project you love and know you will be success uh, in, seek help from friends, family, grants and whatever option is available and never be discouraged. It only takes one yes to succeed. Long-term investment. The investment king Warren Buffett say investment that will yield a profit is mostly long-term. And to do that, he encourages you to own shares in stocks and businesses that are doing great. Don't be tempted to do for that short-term quick buck because with a good company, with the potential for greatness, you can earn greatly. Buffett's idea of going with stocks is an excellent way to make money without having knowledge or skills and with your mobile, you can do it all. And finally, this is a bonus tip. Always be conscious of where your money goes and how you spend it. Make budgets, use online money trackers, cut costs and be disciplined with your spending. I also encourage assigning a job to every dollar bill uh, you have. Let me know what you think of these rules and if they have helped you by leaving a comment. If you want great content like this, then subscribe to my channel because you help for this channel to grow. Just press the button like and then you can help me to grow this channel. I'd like to ask you and I'll give you a task. If you want to use my budget Excel table, you can actually uh, send me a comment down below on the video and say, I want a budget table so I can our Excel table and a new email address and I'll send you my Excel table so you can start budgeting your monthly payments that you received so you can start saving and we can start investing later. So comment down below with your email address and Excel table, budget, budget and Excel table and I'll send you my table. So yes, and I'd like to say thank you for being with me. I hope this video really helps you a lot to improve your budgeting, to improve saving money and you can start investing. Until next time, stay green and motivated.